Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here to talk about more movies that need 4K upgrades in 2023. That is right, guys. This is part three. I did a part one and then I did a part two that I called more movies that need 4k upgrades in 2024 now look guys we're going to keep talking about this kind of stuff because if we don't keep talking about this kind of stuff people are going to think they can get away with not putting our favorite films on 4k so that's what i'm doing here today so look i'm going to talk about 10 films in today's video if you've got some other picks some other suggestions some other movies you'd like to see come out in 4k i haven't seen every single movie ever made I haven't seen anywhere close to every movie ever made. So let me know some of your picks in that comment section below. And uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and, and let's get right into it. So I am going to start off today with a Western that I believe came out in 1968, I think is the year that this came out. Let me, let me look at this, 69. This actually came out in 1969. I watched this for the first time a couple of years ago during my Western month. I, I, I reference Western month on this channel a lot. I realized I used to do theme months on this channel and Western month was just like maybe the best month I've ever had on this channel as far as like how much fun I had because I discovered an entirely different new genre to me and I just had a ball diving into all these films. And this movie came out in 1969. It's directed by Sam Peckinpah. It is a fan favorite in the Western genre, and that is The Wild Bunch. And this is a Warner Brothers title, and I really don't see any reason why Warner Brothers wouldn't want to do this movie. A lot of people are huge fans of it. I feel like it would sell very well for Warner Brothers. So yeah, The Wild Bunch on 4K. And Westerns just always look beautiful in 4K. Like any Western that's ever existed, would look great on 4K and I would I would call for a 4K upgrade of all of them. I don't care what they are, like it would look great in 4K. So all the Westerns I've seen have looked beautiful in 4K. I really hope we get Once Upon a Time in the West this year um, as well. But The Wild Bunch, it's the, um, oh, it's actually an anniversary. I'm just thinking of this off the top of my head. It's actually the 55th anniversary of the Wild Bunch this year. So it would be a good year to do this movie. So yeah, put out the Wild Bunch. It's got Ernest Borgnine in it. Who doesn't love Ernest Borgnine? It's a great film. It's a team up Western film. Just a bunch of guys kicking ass. It's got incredible uh, violence and, and great gore in it. Like this is a very violent movie. It's not, don't go thinking it's like a horror film or anything, but there is a lot of good shootout sequences, a lot of good violence, a lot of good gore in this film. And it was pretty groundbreaking for the time. And next up, guys, we have Wind River. I would love to see this movie in 4K. I think it would look beautiful. The outdoor setting, all of the snow, it would just look fantastic. And what a great like crime thriller from 2017 that I feel like everybody talked about when it came out. And now everybody seems to have forgotten about this movie. And this is a Lionsgate title. Lionsgate put this out. So I want them to do a nice, and I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I want them to do a nice 4K steelbook of Wind River with some incredible artwork on it but it's got Hawkeye in it it's got Wanda uh, from WandaVision Scarlet Witch is in this movie it's got two Marvel stars but they're doing some of their best work acting wise that I've ever seen either one of them do Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen so this is a terrific film if you haven't seen it it would look beautiful in 4k and I think we need it on 4k we got the other movies in the Ty Sheridan uh, you know trilogy the unofficial official trilogy with Sicario and we got uh, Hell or High Water they they, they kind of call it a trilogy. It's not really a trilogy, but it kind of is. But Wind River would look great. Those two have 4Ks. This one needs a 4K. Get on it. All right, guys, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is one that they actually announced like two years ago, and then it just disappeared. And I, nobody, nobody has heard from it since. We don't know where it went. Did it get kidnapped? I don't know. Uh, but this is a David Fincher film. This is Panic Room. Let's put Panic Room out on 4K. And interesting fact, I have a Blu-ray right here. This is not a legitimate Blu-ray because this movie does not have a legitimate Blu-ray release. It was never put out on Blu-ray. It's never been upgraded from DVD. So not only does it need an upgrade to Blu-ray, it also needs an upgrade to 4K. So yeah, Fincher, get on it, man. What is the deal with Fincher? I know, I think I've heard that he's not the biggest fan of 4K. There's not a lot of his movies 
in 4K. So hopefully we get more. I know 7's supposedly coming very soon. There's this big elaborate box set in the UK, but we need more Fincher on 4K and we need it in 2024 and they need to bring back Panic Room. I think Paramount was supposed to put this one out and uh, yeah, get it done. Panic Room, we need that on 4K. All right, so next up, this is a weird one, but I would love to see this movie on 4K. It would look great visually. I think it would look fantastic. A lot of people, when I do these kind of videos or I talk about this kind of stuff, they're like, Ken, not everything needs a 4K. I understand that. I understand that, but I don't operate in that camp. I operate in the camp of everything can look better in 4K. You know, you wouldn't think that you would want Ferris Bueller's Day Off in 4K, right? But when I watched that 4K, I was like, I never want to watch this movie any other way. Like, it just looked terrific. So I want every movie to get that kind of treatment. And I get it. Some movies are, are fine on Blu-ray, but everything could be improved in the 4K format, in my opinion. But, you know, I know not everybody operates in that camp. They're perfectly fine with their Blu-rays and they only want the 4Ks for the big like action set piece movies or very visually elaborate films. And I get it guys, I get it. But I, I say all that because this movie is very visually impressive and there's so many incredible colors. And I'm just thinking of this with the HDR, it will look fantastic. And that is the Neon Demon from 2016, directed by Nicholas Winding Refn. So this is a very deranged film with a lot of psychotic things going on in it. There's, there's a lot of gross stuff in this movie as well. I'm thinking of a, a scene, a particular scene towards the end of the movie that pretty that pretty much turned my stomach when I watched it but I do want it in 4K because there's a lot of stunning visuals throughout the film you know there's a lot of modeling stuff going on so there's a lot of lights there's a lot of beautiful dresses and costumes and I just think that it would look great on 4K and I would love love for Second Sight to get a hold of this one and do a big elaborate box set of the Neon Demon on 4K. It would be fantastic and I would definitely love to see it. So yeah, that's the Neon Demon. Now let's get into my fifth pick and there's not gonna be a lot of people that agree with this, but again, I want everything that can possibly be put out on 4K to be put out on 4K. Now there's movies that I wouldn't care about and I probably wouldn't buy, but uh, I would buy this one all day long and I would love a, a steel book to match the first two in the franchise in my collection. And again, not everybody's gonna want this because some people like to hate on these sequels, but I love them. They were a part of my childhood. Jaws 3, I want the 4K of because we got the 4K for the first two. I want Jaws 3 and hell, I'm not talking about it in this video, but I want Jaws the Revenge as well on 4K. But Jaws 3, you know, it's the SeaWorld like park movie of the Jaws franchise. And I just think that there's some things that happen in this movie that will look great in 4K. There's also some things that happen in this movie that would look not so great in 4K. But I think overall this movie would impress in 4K and I would definitely like to see it. So Jaws Jaws 3, we need it on 4K with a nice steel book of Jaws 3 with like a SeaWorld image on the back. It would look great. And next up, this is another sequel that uh, a lot of people may not want, but I think that most people would want this movie. Maybe they wouldn't want the third one, but this is, this is RoboCop 2. And I feel like RoboCop 2 is pretty well received um, amongst film fans and fans of the RoboCop franchise. It's the third one that kind of falls off the rails, but I grew up with this movie. I remember watching it on TV all the time when I was a kid, and I actually liked this movie better than the first one uh, growing up. So I would love to see RoboCop 2 on 4K, and Arrow Video did such a fantastic job with the first one that I want them to do the sequel. And yes, I know that this is a Scream Factory title, but I don't know if Scream Factory still has the rights or not. So I'm gonna say that they don't have the rights and I'm gonna say that Aero Video would be a great candidate to put out RoboCop 2, a big nice box set uh, for us all to stick next to our original RoboCop. It'd be like the Tremors, Tremors 2 situation. We have RoboCop, we have RoboCop 2, and I think this movie will look great on 4K and I hope they load it with special features. I think this has some special features as well, but put even more special features on there. You can never get enough RoboCop. So yeah, RoboCop 2, I would love to see put out uh, by Arrow Video. And uh, let's get into my next pick, guys. This is a movie from 2013 starring Joaquin Phoenix, directed by Spike Jones, and that is Her. This is a really underrated sci-fi film about a guy that falls in love with an AI, the voice of an AI, played by Scarlett Johansson. And it's a fantastic film. The visuals in this movie are freaking awesome. Like, this is a science fiction film, but it's not like big, elaborate, like set pieces. It's not super futuristic like Blade Runner, but it's set far enough in the future where you can tell it's the future. 
But there's some incredible visuals, some incredible cinematography, and I think it would look fantastic on 4K. And again, I would want Second Sight to do this one, a big, nice box set, chunky box set of her on 4K. That would be fantastic. Some new special features. I would definitely love to see it. And uh, we got three more, guys. We got three more. And this one, I've been doing some shorts talking about movies that need 4K upgrades. So there may be some crossover. I believe I did one uh, for this movie. But this is a Best Picture winner from 1984. It's a damn shame that it doesn't already have a 4K release because it absolutely deserves one. So hopefully for its 40th anniversary this year, it gets one. And that is Amadeus. Again, a Best Picture winner. This is a fantastic movie. But visually like this movie is directed by Milos Forman and visually like this movie is so impressive and I can just see it now like it would look so great in 4k like the costumes the set design like all that stuff just the stunning cinematography like I'm picturing him standing in front of everybody composing you got the crowd behind him all that stuff would look so good in 4K with a proper 4K upgrade. So this is a Warner Brothers release, but Warner Brothers is known to license their stuff out to Criterion. So I want this to be a Criterion 4K release. I think that's the proper spot for Amadeus on 4K. But what a great movie. I love this film so much. Like this is one that 1984 was such a great year for movies, but... This is one that I'll stick up for and say that it absolutely deserved to win Best Picture. A lot of people look at Amadeus and they're like, oh, it's that boring, like, you know, music biopic. It, there's so much fun and like life and energy in this movie. I think it's so dismissive to say it's boring or just an old, you know, classic Best Picture winner that doesn't deserve the praise that it gets. And uh, I love Amadeus. I think it's great and it would look fantastic in 4K and I would love to see it uh, for sure. All right. We got two left. I'm going to save this one for last. We're going to talk about Fetty Alvarez's Don't Breathe. So the uh, sequel to this movie, Don't Breathe 2, has a 4K, but the first one does not have a 4K. This is such a well-directed film. The lighting's incredible. I can just see this movie now in 4K. It would visually impress for sure. And it's a great movie. Like It's such a tense like thriller. And with some great twists and turns, but the cinematography in this movie, the way Fede moves the camera and positions some of these shots, like I'm just visualizing it. And in 4K, just with that dark rundown house setting and some of the stuff that happens in the basement, like when it goes dark, like some of those sequences, I just feel like would really shine in 4K. So don't breathe. I definitely want in 4K and we need it because the second one has a 4K. We need the first one on 4K. And lastly, I'm going to cheat just a little bit, but both of these movies come in the same two pack and both of these movies I want on 4K pretty much equally. Uh, so hopefully we get them this year, but Dante's Peak and Daylight are two of the absolute best disaster films of all time, in my opinion, at least of the 90s. Like, I grew up loving 90s disaster films like Independence Day, like, you know, Twister, Deep Impact, Armageddon, and also these two movies, Dante's Peak and Daylight. And they absolutely 100% deserve 4K upgrades. Dante's Peak would just look amazing in 4K. You know, that volcanic eruption would just look fantastic in 4K. But Daylight, I think, is a super underrated disaster film that not enough people have watched. And that movie is so visually impressive as well. And it would look great in 4K also. So I want both of these movies. And I feel like there was a rumor for both of them to come out like two or three years ago. And I got super excited. And then nothing came of it. Universal put these movies out. So Universal should put these out on 4K or license them to Arrow Video. Like I would love... I don't feel like I would ever get it, but I would love a Dante's Peak Arrow video release, Daylight Arrow video. Like that would be so, so incredible. Universal works with Arrow a lot, so I, I feel like that could happen. But if it doesn't, Universal, put these movies out on 4K. They're great 90s disaster films, and they absolutely hold up, and they would look phenomenal on 4K. So there you have it, guys. That is even more movies that I want to get 4K upgrades in 2024. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below some of your picks. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.